Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about the FAQ module which is a module that is supported by the .NET community. I'm not sure how frequent they uh, do update this module but uh, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna download the, the very latest version of this module. So to do that we're gonna go to the .NET website we have to log in so once we log in, we go to download and scroll down. Additional modules uh, are available by visiting .look projects. Let's click there and let's find here the FAQ module. Okay, so this is basically it. So we're gonna download the installation package just by clicking the uh, disk uh, icon. I agree so let's just save this save here your desktop for now okay okay so let's go back to our site nice this and let's log into our test site and we have to log in as host because we need to install the mod and only host level will have access to install new module so let's go to host mod definitions and pull down menu, install new module, let's browse, select the module, click next, click next again, just a very standard procedure to install in a new module. Everything went fine, perfect, let's click return. Okay, so now let's go back to our home page. And here in the uh, drop down menu, the drop down list of, of modules, we should have the FAQ module here. That's it. So let's add this FAQ to the content pane of our page. So here's the FAQ module. For the ones that don't know what FAQ means, FAQ is, uh, it stands for frequently asked questions, but I'm pretty sure that everybody will know that. The first thing that I would do here uh, after installing the FAQ module, I would uh, go to manage categories. So I would create some categories of, of if I have many FAQs to post, I may create a couple of different categories. So let's add a new category here. Let's call this uh, general. Info. So let's update this. Let's create a new one called um, let's call this detailed detailed info. Again, you can create as many categories as you want, just so you can classify the FAQs that you're going to be creating. So click update. The categories are created. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, so now we have to start entering our categories. Sorry, our FAQs. I have selected a couple of FAQs here related to the uh, World Cup, just to celebrate the World Cup here for the ones that don't know the basics. So let's get some FAQs here. So let's go to the pull down menu, action menu. Let's add a new FAQ. And we have uh, at the top, we select the category, the ones that we have entered. Let's call this general. And then we have the question in the next field and then the answer. I'm just gonna I'm gonna flip this to basic text so you can have more a better view of those boxes. And I'll change the basic text here as well. So the first question that we're gonna be posting to our FAQ is what is FIFA? And we're gonna put the explanation of the answer and let's click update. So I'm gonna enter two or three more uh, FAQ so we can have some volume here. Okay, so I have entered six FAQs so we can have some volume going on here. And now let's go and see the and see how the FAQ uh, behaves by default. You see the question, you click the question and it refreshes the page and brings the answer uh, below the question. That's basically the standard way that the FAQ works. Now we can play around a little bit with uh, the FAQ settings so we can 
uh, do some interesting stuff with the FAQ. Let's go to the action menu and let's go to settings. Now under settings, we have a couple of options here. Uh, first is the default sorting. It can be by date, by date, uh, newest, oldest, popularity. Um, then we also have uh, enable Ajax. Let's let's order this by the oldest first. Uh, and enable Ajax, let's uh, click, let's mark this. And let's click update, let's go back there. So now if I click, as you can see, there's no refresh on the page because now it's using Ajax. If I click on any one of those, it won't refresh uh, the entire page. So it looks a bit more slicker. Let's go back to the action menu, to the settings. And, and here we have uh, different templates for different areas of the FAQ. We have a question template, an answer template, a loading template and the different tokens that are available to be used in those templates. Let's say that uh, we want to place the category name uh, right beside the, the question. That's, and here there is a token for category name. Let's put it here. Category name. And let's update this. So as you can see, the category name is coming uh, right next to the question. General category, that's the one of the categories that we have created. Let's go back to the settings. Then same thing, you can, you can play around with those tokens, use them in the answer, use them in the, the question. You can reformat, you can do S, uh, CSS formatting here. You can do basically whatever you want with those templates. Now, one last thing that I want to mention is that the data that you enter into the FAQs is also available in the general search uh, of .etnook. So let's say if I'm in a new, if I'm in a different page here, just so I can show you that. If I put, let's say FIFA and I hit the search. So in the search results, it will come up. And uh, so the, the FAQ results will also be uh, considered doing the uh, global DNN search. Okay, so basically this is it. This is how, uh, where you can download and how you can use the FAQ module that is supported uh, by the .2 community. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.